G'day guys, I'm out this afternoon chasing wild dogs again. I've had a property owner call me and he's seen two, maybe three dogs this afternoon. So uh, we're gonna go and set up on a bit of a carcass pile, and see if anything comes in. I've got the 308 out tonight. Uh, I'd normally run my 6BR for this sort of stuff, but I've sent the bolt away on that today to be spiral fluted. So I'm pretty sure this will be up to the task. I've got the Thermion on it. Let's go. The weather today has been really ordinary. It's been raining, windy. Hopefully I can get a gap tonight and I don't get drenched while I'm up on this hillside. I'm just walking into this hillside. Now I'm pretty sure it's a fox, but I've just seen a fox or a dog at about 400 metres trot off this hillside where I'm headed. The wind's not great in that direction, so hopefully I haven't bumped an animal this early on. I've got foxes running around up on this carcass pile everywhere. I've seen about five or six. I've even had a pair chase each other around. Now the range is only about 30 to 60 metres. It's very difficult for me to not open fire on those guys. I'm a bit of a uh, fiend on the foxes, but I'm here to target wild dogs. So those guys are safe for now. Fingers crossed not shooting them results in a dog. I've been up on this hillside for about two hours now, only foxes. So I'm gonna run a couple of howls on the Icatech, wild dog calls, we'll see if anything comes in. I've just looked out across this valley that I'm overlooking and I can see some big heavy looking clouds coming in. So I'm gonna walk back to the car. It's pretty cold tonight. Uh, I'd say that's a wash, guys. Just goes to show, never stop looking around. I'm about 100 metres from the car. So I've been sitting over on that bastard of a hillside. It's been freezing cold, raining, quite windy. I'm pretty sure I saw a dog when I arrived here and then nothing after it. So I've been sitting on that carcass pole. I've had about five or six foxes come in while I've been sitting there. It's really frustrating seeing those guys and not pulling the trigger. But obviously, animals like this are the prize. So this is a really large, mature, male wild dog. Uh, I've got a couple of pictures of his teeth and stuff like that. It's quite a heavy animal. I'd say it's probably, look, Alsatian sized. Uh, you can see it there in relation to my gun. There's no camera trickery going on there. It's just a big wild dog. Now this is a really good one for those people that jump on these videos and say, oh my god, you've shot a dingo. Look, dingoes don't get this big. Uh, it just doesn't happen. This is the result of a hybrid wild dog. Yes, it's probably got dingo in it, but it's not a dingo, it's too big. It's not the most respectful view of this dog, but look at the battle scars on him. He's got bark off Randy's eye and all his ears. 
have a look at the teeth on this thing. Those top canines, they're about an inch long. That's my thumb next to them, so you can see why these animals do so much livestock damage out here. Quite the beast, that wild dog. It's certainly the largest one I've ever shot. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Have a look at my Patreon, and I'll see everyone next time.